Hello everybody and welcome to F1 2020. Today I am at Monza in Italy. Um, this is a, a fun track to drive, lots of fast straights, um, few, only a few braking zones but the ones that are there are quite heavy. You'll see what I mean when we get to this first chicane. Got to slow almost to a crawl to get the car through the second part there. There would almost certainly be a little bit of chaos at the start. Just a long right hander coming up to the uh, the second chicane. There's a few of these around the track. Try and straighten it out over the curbs as much as you can. Then we have two corners here called the Lesmos. First one is a little bit easier than the second one. Second one really click, clip the apex, let the car drift out wide, try not to end up in the gravel. DRS zone down here as we head into the third and final chicane on the track. Nice and fast, bit of right, left, right. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Hold paying attention, it's left, right, left. Um, and then we come up here to the final corner, the Parabolica, 180 degree corner. Get on the throttle as early as you can. And then here we go, DRS on to start a new lap. You'll see at racing speed when you get down to this corner, it's really got to break nice and early. so difficult to get the get the throttle down you've really got to wait and wait and wait it feels unnatural but you end up in the gravel on the right hand side of the track if you unsettle the car too much kind of bouncing over that curb on the right a little too much through there Approaching the DRS zone, watch your MFD for the activation point. So there's the second of the two DRS zones. First one being on the pitch straight. Coming up here, it is left, right, left through here. And then flat out down straight towards the, uh, the final corner, the Parabolica. Used to be the fastest corner on the F1 calendar, but I don't think it is anymore. I think there's some newer tracks that have beaten it. Oh, I went way too quick through there. Quite far out wide. Great stuff. You've pretty I much think, nailed uh, the circuit. This is a really strong foundation to build from over the weekend. Thanks, Jeff. I think in real life I probably would have been penalised for going out too wide there. Oh, there we go. Oh, on the grass. Oh, damn. There we go. That's that's what happens if you get on the throttle too quick. Um, damn. I mean, I've ruined ruined the tyres. <laughs> My, my first lap felt really good, but this one, not so great. Uh, obviously. Let's see if I can I can do a bit better the third time round. It's a quick lap round here normally. You can probably tell just from, from watching this that the average speed is, is pretty high as you go around the track, so... There's not too many corners, and corners normally my downfall. If you nail this final corner, you can pick up a lot of time. That's fantastic. You obviously have a really good understanding of this circuit. All right, let's see if we can nail a perfect lap to to finish the session. Oh, 
just on the throttle a bit too early there. It really could make or break a lap, that, that chicane. I just clip that one. We think we may see some rain. ETA is about 15 minutes. That's good. We'll be done before the rain comes. Oh, a bit late on the DRS there. I clicked it slightly too early. I love going aggressive through that section. So satis satisfying to get the get that little little section of three corners spot on. Program complete and a job well done. We got some excellent data with that run, so come on back to the garage and I can talk you through the numbers. Just gonna try and get this this corner right again, but George Ruffin's getting it right in my way. There we go. That was a bit better. Um, let's return to the garage. We can have a look at my times. I was quicker than Science, I think it said there. It was my first lap that was the quickest, I think. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but I'm half a second ahead of Vettel. <laughs> I was purple in the... I mean, not many people have gone yet, but purple in the second sector. This might actually be a good track for me, believe it or not. I don't know how that's happened. We might see the rain coming down soon, so I don't know if everyone's going to get a lap in. Um, but we'll go ahead and skip to qualifying. Like, it felt like a good lap. I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> the session has drawn to a close, so let's review our top three. Bottas, Hamilton and Lance Stroll. And if today's practice is anything to go by, we're in for an exceptional weekend of Formula One. So I'm in 8th and Callum Eilot is in 13th. Leclerc didn't set a lap. Sainz is slow, Ocon is slow, Verstappen was only on the hard tyres. Interesting. Something, no, nothing happened to Leclerc. You can see people put on intermediate tyres at the end. Um, yeah, I guess not everyone got a lap in perfect conditions there. If it started raining, I might have had the best of the track. We'll see what happens in qualifying. Maybe I can match that uh that time of one twenty five. We'll see. That was on the soft tires. Generally when I've been practicing, I've not been using the softest tire. Um but this time I did. Um because that was actually uh FP three. Um I didn't I, I normally do one or two depending on what the weather's like. Um, but yeah, one and two, it was both raining, so I thought I'd skip ahead to dry practice. So there you go, it's Monza. Just keep your foot planted to the floor, you'll be fine. Let's have a quick look at the uh, championship. It'll be good to get. Maybe I can get ahead of George Russell here. Um, if we look at the season results, uh, I'm looking for George Russell's best result. He's got three 17th places. Um, so I would need to be 16th to overtake him. That might be a good target here. After this race, it's only seven to go. Um, I'd need to finish 14th to overtake Eilat. 12th to overtake Giovinazzi. Then 11th to overtake Grosjean and 10th to overtake Raikkonen, I think. How realistic is that? We'll see after qualifying. 
This could be a lot like a lot like Austria. It's a track with not many corners, and I qualified well. And then I'll just be fighting for my life down the straights, I think. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. If Callum Eilock can do well as well, get the team some points. Let's see what happens. We're ready to go for qualifying. Um, I don't know if it's too late to change it. Oh, it's not too late to change. Um, but actually, these are all... I'm putting my, I meant to do this earlier, but I'm putting my lowest wear engine on. All my engine components have a, have a wear percentage. I might have, I might have done all that too late, possibly. Should have done that after practice. Um, anyway, we got to go to track. Here we go. It's qualifying. DRS down the straight. Here we go. Heading into the chicane. We got to get this one right. Just be patient. There we go. Okay, I'm in 22nd place. That wasn't as good as I thought. <laughs> Gotta try and make some time up here. I've talked myself up and it's all gonna be for nothing. Straight through there. Into Lesmo 1. Bit tentative through there. Lesmo 2. And then flat all the way down the straight, DRS. We're keeping up with Hamilton almost. <laughs> we gotta throw it into the chicane here. Oh my god, I'm P4! One more corner to go. Can I hang on? A little bit wide, a little bit wide. Oh, that's going to lose me so much time. Oh, where was I? Ninth, not bad, not bad at all. Oh, I just, just messed up the entry to the last corner there. That's a shame. With qualifying finished, it's time to remind ourselves of our top three. Hamilton, Bottas and Charles Leclerc. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. One, two, two, nine in that final corner. I was two temps off the top four. God damn, I'm ahead of Albon. All right, this is a chance for me to pick up some good positions here because the car felt good around that lap. Um... You've seen the constructors. We can overtake Alfa Romeo just with a point. Oh, pressure's on. Can't believe, can't believe I lost it in the last corner though. P4, Three that would have been amazing. Safety. Let's have your thoughts. It's got to be a relief to qualify that far up the grid. Gives us a great opportunity to show off our engine's power. Interesting result today. Would you say that you're happy with your performance? I really enjoyed myself out there today. Is there anything that you think gave you the edge over your rivals? Um, our chassis is so good this season. Appreciate your time. Just some nice interview questions. I think I mentioned this previously that um, because I wasn't getting very good results, I chased my sponsors who would give me money just for doing interviews. Um, oh, look. I did 
qualify better than Gasly. Maybe I'll win this rivalry. Oh, it's race time though. Getting nervous. What a what a result it will be to to get high up the grid here though. If I can get a good result here. After Austria. I was so gutted after Austria. That was my big chance for a point. But I knew that if I was good in Austria, I should be good in Italy as well. They're quite right. similar tracks. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. Okay, turn one is just going to be chaos, though. I've got to stay out of trouble in turn one. Turn one, turn two. If I get through there safely... Hopefully I've got it. Hopefully I have the pace to to stay ahead of people. Um, if we get a queue, it could really become DRS trains down Welcome down the long streets. Welcome back to one of only two countries that has held a race every year since the very first Formula One World Championship in 1950. It is, of course, Italy, one of the great racing nations, and it's time to get underway for the Italian Grand Prix. We're 12 miles northeast of Milan for today's Grand Prix at a Monza circuit where we can expect top speeds of around 215 miles per hour. 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with seven of those coming in the form of chicanes and with a good slipstream and DRS open, there should be plenty of opportunity for some passing here today. Alongside me once again for coverage of today's race, it's none other than the great Anthony Davidson. Let's start with Racing Point. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Vettel, Sainz, Norris, Joker, and Alexander Albon, Perez, Ocon, Lance Stroll, and Gasly, Giovinazzi, Kvyat, Kevin Magnussen, and Kimi Raikkonen, Grosjean, Russell, Eilert, and Nicholas Latifi. Now, it's almost time for lights out, so let's go down to the track. Oh, here we go, everybody. P9. I'm on the outside, which isn't too good. I, th I think I'd rather be on the inside, so we might have to... I don't know. I think it's harder to pick your way through the trouble from the outside than it is the inside, to be honest. But if you are on the inside, there's... There's always the issue where you get boxed in by another car going along this way as you're trying to turn in. Um, we'll see how it goes. Wish me luck! Oh, I got a bit bogged down at the start there. I'm going to stick to the outside here. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, a bit of bumping. I think I got away with it. I got Vettel. Oh, Vettel's closing in on me. I'm going to let him go. I got ahead of Norris. I'm in P8. to back out a bit there because I was going to hit so they were, I thought they were going to go free wide and have a major crash then alright let's turn the overtake mode on try and keep Norris behind me oh here we go have I got to run on Vettel Close the door on me a little bit there. Let's get overtake on down here though. Actually, I might turn it off because I'm used up nearly 50% on that lap. Oh, 
almost hit him there. Oh, that was a bad, bad chicane there. You recharge a lot of energy breaking into these chicanes though. Which is good. Make it nice and easy through there. I don't think I'm going to be able to attack these guys. They're pulling away from me now. I've got to try and keep a decent gap to Norris so I can defend him when DRS is activate. Also, if I can keep up with Vettel and get DRS from him, I'll be in good shape. You know, let's not DRS forget, is being this lap. We my can use car DRS is is very out of position of here. Ahead and in the DRS zone. I should not be this high up the order. That was a little bit better through there that time. A little bit of an overtake to help the acceleration out the corner. The best thing for me here would be Vettel to try and attack signs, I think. and then hopefully they lose time doing so. Okay, I'm pushing hard. I'm keeping, keeping in touch with them. We're about to come to the end of lap three. Purple last sector there, that's the fastest last sector of anyone. I don't know how I did that. Signs is having a go at Verstappen here. And that's allowed me to close right up to the back of Vettel. I don't want to risk a move into the chicane though. You can see that second chicane I lose a lot of time on, actually. Oh, that was bad. That was a bad corner. I've lost a lot of time through there. Got a bit too close for Vettel and lost downforce in the dirty air. Oh, bit of a wobble. Still pushing hard here. This is your final lap. Final lap. Onto the last lap. I think Vettel is a bit too far away. Verstappen and Sainz are having a battle ahead, though. Oh, Sainz has got past. I might have a go at Vettel here. Oh, this is going to be tight. I expected him I expected him to move across them. I thought I'd have him on the outside. Oh damn it. I don't think I damaged anything, but I've let Perez behind catch up. I got no idea what happened to uh to Norris, but now I don't have DRS. 
Okay, gap ahead is 1.5 seconds. A little bit of overtake out of there. I've got Perez right on me now. Let's go. Race for the line. Oh, I think I've held him. Oh, damn it. We did it. Okay, pick up rubber. P8. We did it. We did it, everybody. I got some points. Oh, I don't believe it. I did it. Got some points. My target is met. There it is then. Victory in the Italian Grand Prix. An historic race and an achievement they can be immensely proud Oh, I tell you what, if Vettel... <laughs> I really thought Vettel on that second chicane was going to move across to take the Anthony, racing line, me, but he just was it that kept covering the, the outside and I, I just wasn't, smart time management wasn't ready for that. And, and I had to... Definitely assisted in their victory I had to back off big time to make sure I didn't hit him. Maximum out of their tyres at all times. Mercedes are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend. It's great to see them up on that podium once again. Well, another win for Bottas. Just as Lewis looked to be closing the gap at the top. That was an intense race, though. I was hoping Sainz and Verstappen were going to take each other out, but Sainz somehow managed to get past properly. Well, so then it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. More points for Valtteri Bottas, further solidifying his lead at the top of the table. Now, let's discuss, and who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? It's got to be Valtteri Bottas, a commanding performance that I think had the audience's eyes glued to him for the majority of the race. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, good work from the owner drivers team this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Yeah. And with that, we wrap up another weekend of motorsport. But with more races lined up, be sure to join us when we come back with more Formula One. So, I'm up to 14th now in the Drivers' Championship, ahead of Gasling, Magnussen, Raikkonen, Grosjean, Giovinazzi, Isla, and Russell. Up seven places. And in the Constructor standings, we're up two places to eighth. Can we catch the eight points of Alpha Tauri before the end of the season? Might be a little bit difficult, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, how did Callum Eilock do? He got past Russell, but that was it. Disappointing, to be honest. Did I get... Oh, no. Hamilton got the fastest... I thought I got the fastest lap, but... Because, look, everyone... Apart from the top three... So I was the four fastest, yeah. Everyone else is a 124. I just snuck into 123. Oh, that was close, though. I thought one more lap and Perez probably would have got me. Down that straight, I'm sure Perez would have would have overtaken me. Anyway, nice nice amount of points. Good result. Um, I think uh, we'll leave it there for today. Thank you very much for watching. There are seven more races to go. I'll see you soon for more F1. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye.